At the end of this week's Parsha, we're given the mitzvah of tzitzit. Part of the mitzvah of tzitzit is to color at least one of the strings with a special dye called techelet, made from a fish called the chilazon. Now whether we know what that fish is or what color that dye is right now is irrelevant. The main point is that the Talmud in several places, including Menachot 43b, tells us that the reason for the techelet is that it makes us think of the ocean, which then makes us think of the sky, which then makes us think of Hashem's Kiseh HaKavod, His throne of glory. Whatever the throne of glory is, we know Hashem is not a physical thing that needs a throne to sit upon. So the throne must be something symbolic of His power, of His majesty in the world. Well, if that's the case, asks Rav Moshe Feinstein in Darash Moshe, why not just think about the throne of glory? Just imagine that, and imagine the color, whatever it is. Why do we need to think of the ocean and then think of the sky? And he answers a very profound answer that's very important for all of us, I think. And that is, we don't need to jump to something that's beyond our imagination. We need to use the world in front of us to imagine how great and awesome Hashem is. And we need to take baby steps to grow and to really appreciate how great Hashem really is. Because if you were just uh, bombarded with how amazing and important and awe-inspiring and all-knowing and ever-present Hashem is, it's just too much for some people at once. So you take gradual steps. Think about the fact that Hashem is nearby. Any body of water should inspire you with the greatness of Hashem. And then you look up at the sky. The sky is available for most people. So you can look up and you'll see the greatness of Hashem. And then you can think even higher of something that's maybe unimaginable for most people, but for some people perhaps more accessible. And that's okay. As long as we all have a forward trajectory, we try to grow, and our, our intent is to eventually to get to the point where we can think of these great thoughts without feeling down on ourselves. But that's the important thing for all of us, is that when we have these setbacks, when we feel like, we're not really accomplishing as much as we want, or we're not as great as we think we should be. Don't feel down. This is your chance to grow. Every potential setback is really a potential opportunity to grow. Have a Shabbat Shalom.